What's up guys? It is Sunday, January 24th and it is 3.45 p.m. and I wanted to show you guys my new car, so here we go. So this car is remote start and you don't even have to unlock it. This is the key fob right here. I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm just grabbing the door handle. It automatically unlocks, which I love. Um, it's got that blue leather right here and then it's got black leather on top. It's beautiful looking. The entire interior is leather. It's got a leather steering wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and close that door. Um, we've got full leather steering wheel, full leather seats and leather everything we've got that really big nice screen right there i'm still mad there's some sticker residue they put a sticker on there not super happy about that so this right here is our gear shifter has all of these um the gears it also has sport mode which i have not used yet um, and then you could turn the sport mode off this right here is the parking brake which is not actually on <laughs> now it's on and um i'm not quite sure what that button does uh, this right here actually works the screen. The car's not currently on, but I will show you in just a minute. This one right here actually works the volume and skip songs. Then these are your favorites, and I will show you all of those things in just a minute. We're gonna go ahead and turn that car on. For some reason, my dad turned the Spanish station on. Uh, my car is telling me my seatbelt is not currently on, even though I'm not driving yet. Um, it's trying to warn me. And there is my gauge, and I can actually adjust this gauge just by pressing this info button right here. And I can keep pressing it. I can have it, I like it on this screen, because it tells you exactly how many miles per hour you're going, but you can also keep clicking it, play with it. They also have that screen, which I don't like that one as much. And then you can see your miles per gallon, and then you can see which direction you're going. I don't, again, like it on that screen. I like it on this screen, it's nice and sleek, but it also tells you um, all of these things. It tells you the temperature right here. And then over here we have dual, dual climate control. You actually can turn the air up and down here and then our dual climate control right here and right here. Um, we've got cedar heaters. I call them cedar heaters. Apparently they're just called heated seats. Um, but I call them cedar heaters. And then if you see this screen right here, this is the radio station that it's currently on. I did not set that radio station, but we're gonna go ahead and press the menu. And then you can actually turn this. This just turns and it moves the thing to which place that you want it. And then you can click it down. So like if you want entertainment, you could do that. Then this one right here, you can adjust it actually spins for the volume and you can move it over. So you can move it this way and that way to change the station. And honestly, it's kind of tricky how to figure out, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, how to change the radio station. I, you kind of just have to hold this down, like hold it over to the side or hold it over the other way um, and it will change. It's, it took me forever to figure this out because I didn't realize that you can actually just push this side to side. I thought it only turned and I was super confused on how you change that because this is not a button right here. This just press, this does not press, but this is the star, which is your favorites. I'm not currently using favorites. I don't have any setup just yet, but I will eventually. 
and um, this right here again is my parking brake you can just press it down if I want it off pull it up if I want it on I'm gonna keep that on this one right here is the navigation um, so actually this car this model does not have um, navigation I usually just use my phone but you can see the longitude and latitude and you can see which direction you're going which is awesome and um, this car also has a sunroof which is right here it's really nice um, it has a sunglasses holder here I don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of dark and it has adaptive cruise control it has adaptive and automatic climate control one of my favorite features is the rain sensing windshield wipers which automatically sense when the rain how hard the rain is coming down and it turns them on and off which is awesome because it rains so much in Houston another one of my favorite features is the automatic bright headlights um, so currently they are on set to that they're automatic however these headlights are amazing because they automatically turn on your lights let's say you're going down a windy road they automatically turn your bright headlights on and then when a car or a pedestrian is coming they turn them off which is amazing this car also has blind spot detection, so those little arrows, I'm not sure that you can see them, but there's little arrows on the mirrors right there, um, and there's one on the other side that tell you if a car is coming or if a pedestrian is in your way or whatever, um, so that way you can know, uh, but it's super nice. These seats are very, very comfortable. It smells really good because it is full leather interior, and you can see this is a little bit better picture so you can see it a little better you can see that blue with that black it looks very nice um, we've also got this blue center console right here um, this is the key fob it's kind of interesting uh, because it just has three buttons on it it has the alarm and then the lock and the unlock and it's very sleek looking there's nothing on it but I will show you something super cool in just a minute as well and then this is the center console right here you pull it back and then you pull it up um, I have it just kind of organized with some random things that I like to keep in my car um, like I've got some tissues some pens and I have I like to keep a lint roller in there just in case I have some band-aids my sunglasses uh, my gift cards and then some lotion just in case um, and then you can just slide that forward but the nice thing with this was that you can actually slide this back if you want to reach in and grab something real quick and then just slide it back up and then this is the back seat and the nice thing about the back seat is that it has these child car seat lock things um, they're very very easy to use and they make it so much easier than the simple latches that you use in older cars like my old car was very very difficult to get car seats in and out of it's a very spacious back seat so there's a lot of room um, which is great for passengers the um, armrest in the middle can pull down I don't I haven't actually looked at it yet so we'll go back and look at it in just a minute another thing that I love about this car is that the steering wheel is actually hand stitched and you can see that um, right here and it is hand stitched leather which I think is so pretty it looks so sleek and nice and it just looks great okay so one of the coolest features I have to say with my car is that you can go on this Mazda app it's called my Mazda and let me do my face ID real quick okay we've got that face ID and this right here is my car so I've got a status alert currently I'll show you guys it says that it detected that my door was open which is awesome because it is a super cool safety feature that can tell me when my car is on whatever so one of the coolest features about this car is that you can actually do everything remotely through your phone through the my mouse app so basically you can open the remote you can unlock you can lock your car you can turn on the alarm you can turn on the hazards and you can actually start the car um, this car actually has a safety feature in it that allows you to um, start the car you can warm it up if you're gonna defrost it if you live somewhere that's cold and then um, once you open the car the second that you open the car the car turns off which is a super cool safety feature so that way you know no one could steal your car um, you can actually track the status of your vehicle um, I will show you that in just a minute you can see all of your tire pressures you can see your odometer and you can see your fuel gauge which is super cool you can see whether or not your doors are locked 
and it says currently my car is closed and locked. The nice thing about this app is that it also tells you exactly how much oil you need. It tells you when your next maintenance should be. It recommends all of those things. Um, you can go ahead and schedule service if you need to right on this app. If you need help with anything, you can go ahead and click roadside assistance or you can contact Mazda and they'll take care of it at any Mazda dealership. That's just a Mazda guarantee, which is awesome. Um, and then you can check on, again, you could check on the status of your car. Um, also, a cool feature is that you can locate your vehicle. So currently, it has a thing saying that my car is unlocked. Um, it shows me right here that my vehicle is right there, which is super cool. So it shows you exactly where your vehicle is, and then it shows you where my dealership is. So this dealership is my preferred dealership. Um, I went to Gilman Mazda. This is not a sponsored video, but honestly, they gave me a great deal on my car and I absolutely love it. I just wanted to thank them so much. Um, but yeah, you can choose your dealerships here and then you can actually set a preferred dealer, which I did. And you can actually see where the new nearest fuel is right on the Mazda app, as well as your favorite places um, right here and you're able to actually see where your car is located, which is right there, which is totally awesome because I am seriously losing my car all of the time, like in parking garages and stuff. Um, so this is gonna be super helpful for me to be able to find my car exactly where it is. Um, but it also will give you alerts right on your phone or it'll be like a little notification at the top saying your car is unlocked, um, someone has entered your vehicle, something like that. Um, so it'll say, all of those things which is super nice just in case and I can actually lock my car from my phone if I was like miles away from my car I could just click that lock button right there and I'd be able to lock my car so I'm gonna head and step out in just a minute I'm gonna show you guys I apologize also for the cracks in my screen but I'm going to show you guys how I work my my Mazda app and I will show you starting the car with my app Okay, so it's super dark, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to press that lock button. So all you have to do is hold it down, and it's going to say request sent, and it should just lock the car. Yep, and then we heard the car lock, um, and then we can actually unlock it, so it says successful, and then we can actually unlock it for my phone as well, so we can say it right here. You All you have to do is hold it down. It'll say request sent, and then we can hear the car unlock. Okay, and the car just unlocked. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, and press that start button. And it said it may take up to a minute to complete. Just press OK, and it should turn on in just a moment. And there we go, my car turned on. And then as I previously mentioned, my car has a safety feature. So if you walk over here and I have the key in my pocket, you come over, you open that door, it's going to shut the engine off automatically because it is a safety feature. So that way the car won't get stolen. So as I previously mentioned, I went to Team Gilman Mazda to get my Mazda. I was not sponsored by this video by them or anything, but I just wanted to give them a huge shout out and thank you so much. This car is amazing and I absolutely love it. It is such a great car and it will last me for a long time. So I'm super happy about my purchase. And if you wanna know how much I spent on it, it was 27,000. I put 3,200 down for a down payment and I financed it for 60 months. I ended up getting a military discount because my dad was in the military and I was able to get a financing discount through them, got special APR, which is 0.9% and I'm only paying 420 a month for 60 months. It's a really great deal, and if you are looking for a Mazda or a small SUV or any kind of car, really, um, I would go to Mazda. So I previously filmed an outro, and it didn't actually stay on there, but I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button down below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and thanks guys for watching. Love you.